walls that encase the old government house are now donned with locally produced paintings, sculptures, and art, making up the exhibition dubbed Museum of Belizean Art, also known as MOBA. More than five dozen pieces are showcasing the artistic talents and visions of 68 artists, some who have transitioned, some who have retired, and some who are now dabbling in creativity. The exhibition, launched by the Museum of Belize and House of Culture, is a fixed installation that recognizes the local arts. Curator Gilvano Suese has expressed excitement at the launch, describing it as one of the most momentous events in visual arts. This is a very proud moment for me as an artist. I've been doing art since 1995 and I've done many exhibits and I've participated in exhibits locally and internationally. But for the first time, we have Belizean art on this scale, meaning the diversity of the artists, the diversity of the work, the diversity of the stories. And as someone had mentioned is that you have husband and wife team. You have Penn Cayetano and Ingrid Cayetano, right? Uh, you have Nelson Young and um, Nicole Gallego. They were partners. Um, and so you also would see how art influenced each other, right? Uh, there's Benjamin Nicholas and Isaiah Nicholas, father and son. You see similarities in their style, their stories, but also you would see differences in their time period. So this is, this is one of the best things that has happened to the visual arts. And I encourage everyone to come and see it. And we're hoping to take it to a next level where we can use the grounds. This is a beautiful space. You imagine sculptures out here and little benches where you can sit down and do your little homework or just chill. This is prime property. We own the place. So let's make the best of it. Minister Francis Fonseca, who is known to be an advocate for everything local, told Love News that his appreciation for visual and musical talents run deep. He foresees the various areas of the orange economy coming together nicely as the ministry works at embracing and fostering those in the industry. I think this really is a platform for us to, um, to take art in Belize to another level. Um, we're here today showcasing you know, the creativity, um, you know, the innovation, um, the passion of, of our Belizean artists and our creative people. Um, you know, and I think that's important. That's always important for a country to do, um, to make sure that we're giving a space to our artists for them to communicate their work with the masses. Um, so it's an exciting day, and I think, as I said, we can build on this. So this is a very, very good uh, be beginning, um, and um, I'm very excited about the future of art in Belize. But it will be a revolving exhibit, so we'll have other artists, um, you know, and we try to include young people, new artists, um, you know, artists who are, uh, have been around for a while and also artists who have passed on. We pay tribute to their, their work. After the official ceremony, guests including elected officials like the Belize City Mayor Bernard Wagner and the Minister Henry Usher were able to get an up-close look at the art pieces. Well, I enjoy the work of Pen Caetano, certainly he's the, he's the master. Um, but the one right behind us there, Mr. Nicholas, the, the, the um, Last Supper with cassava and fish. Very um, unique and certainly a, a, a different perspective on the Last Supper. So really each has its own merits and we should appreciate um, each artist and the work that they create. You know, I'm a, always a fan of Pen, Pen Caetano, but I'm also a fan of some of the new artists that are, are coming along. Um, I like Shahira Young. Um, I think she, she does great work. Um, and so I'm really pleased with what I've seen here today. I'm a huge collector of art. Um, so, you know, um, Papo Alamia, I love his work. Um, I have a number of his pieces. Pen Caetano, of course. Um, Benjamin Nicholas, Isaiah Nicholas. Um, you know, these are all great artists. The Garcia sisters, you know, their, their um, you know, sledge work. Um, you know, um, the carvings that we have here today. We also have work done by uh, Ingrid Caetano. Uh, so there are so many fantastic pieces. Richard Holder, Gilvano Swayze. Um, a lot of amazing pieces that I very, very much enjoy. Um, and I think the Belizean people, when they get an opportunity to see them, um, will, will, will thoroughly enjoy and be excited about. The public is being invited to visit the House of Culture on the weekdays between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Reporting for Love News, I am Kendra Romero.